What's going on YouTube? Kevin here with the video review for the Maru Timaru earbuds. Now earbuds aren't really my thing to review but I saw these earbuds, they look kind of interesting so I decided I was going to review them to try to you know expand my horizon in terms of the products I review. So I want to thank Bo Roster out there at Maru for sending this out to me for review. Go ahead and check out their website, that link will be down below in the description as always. So there's something really too special about these headphones in terms of pretty much everything, the build quality, the quality, and these are just kind of your average headphones, and I'm really sorry to report that, but uh, I'm trying to say it as it is, as honestly as I can. Uh, first we'll start off with just looking around the headphones like I always do. You will see that there is a gold plate 3.5mm audio jack, so you will get slightly higher audio quality than if you were to have a nickel plated one. Of course you do see there are four connectors there, meaning that it does have a control talk switch or this three button uh, inline uh, control, also with a microphone on the back if you can see that right there. Also, you will see that these are in-ear earbuds. They do include several tips for several size ears. They also have a cool design on the back, and the L and R indicators are right on the earbud themselves. So there's something really too special about these headphones, like I mentioned before. Let's get into the all-important audio quality. So the thing about these earbuds is that I can't determine exactly what they're EQ'd to be. Most earbuds, I can determine, okay, this is bass heavy, this has no mids, this has like really bad trebles. But these headphones seem to change with every single song that I listen to. And it's just really weird because um, I would listen to, say, I listen, try to listen to all types of music. So I do have like one or two country style songs, as in they have like a, one or two vocalists, and then a guitar, and maybe like some, I don't know, third instrument in the background, maybe like. I don't know, tambourine or something like that. But I listened to one me one um, song that was like that, and then thought, okay, maybe I'll see if I can hear this in the other song that was really, really similar in terms of the instruments and the way that it was EQ'd. But it sounded completely different between two songs that were sounded pretty much the same. And so I don't really know what the what's going on with these earbuds, but they do deliver some pretty interesting quality. The one thing I found that was definitely for sure was that the bass is a little bit overbearing. Um, in a lot of the drum and bass music that I actually listened to, the bass was was overwhelming, but the thing was it wasn't really good bass. It was kind of muddy bass. The The tracks weren't really clear and defined. Uh, the Yeah, the bass was there, but wasn't there at the same time, no I'm saying. So it was there in terms of the volume and the output, but in terms of the actual quality of the audio, it just wasn't there for me. So that's how the bass goes. Now the mids and the trebles aren't that much better. Uh, the mids weren't really there in general, although some songs they did seem to shine a little bit brighter than uh, they did in other songs, but again, these earbuds change with every single song that I listen to. So uh, other songs they sounded fine, other ones they just weren't there. Same goes for the trebles. Uh, sometimes they were good, sometimes they were bad. Sometimes uh, the uh, the vocals sometimes were pretty good in certain songs, and then other songs the guitar uh, kind of might have drowned out the vocals or made the uh, trebles a little bit uh, sound like they were playing inside of a tin can. But yeah. That just goes to show that these earbuds are very, like, they're not very decisive. They like to change on you. They like to say, I feel like putting out a lot of bass today. Or for this song, I feel like I'm going to make the trebles very clear. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to burn in these headphones. But if uh, you do for some weird reason, I apologize for not giving them a fair chance. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. They change on you. And uh, I can't really say that they're much better than Apple earbuds because um, they're only a little bit a small step up from the Apple earbuds, but they cost five bucks more. So these do retail for like $34.99. In my opinion, you can get better earbuds for similar prices. I know the Skunk Juice earbuds, even though they are a little bit heavier than these earbuds, uh, those earbuds produce some pretty good and consistent sound. Um, they A lot of the stuff was a lot better. In case you guys didn't see that review, I do have that posted on my channel. But similarly priced earbuds have sound that are a lot better than this so unfortunately I cannot recommend these headphones um, the build quality is it's mediocre it's not the best uh, especially when it comes to the control talk switch or whatever the three button switch this is kind of mushy like I don't like that. I like to have a nice haptic definite click but sometimes I had I felt that when I was putting this in my ear like this is the last I put it on and then I was reaching for this I couldn't define right away whether or not this was the center button the volume up or the volume down button so that was kind of troubling for me um, yeah pretty much a lot of the things about this headphones that you could say are good aren't 
Again, I hate to say it, but that's pretty much how it's going to be. Uh, the last thing that you guys are going to uh, see or hear is actually an audio test from the microphone so you guys can see what the mic sounds like. Unfortunately, it's going to be a little bit unfair because I am using a relatively high quality condenser microphone, and then you're going to be hearing this, which is like most inline microphones, not the best, but it's still going to be kind of um, kind of bad. So that pretty much wraps up that part of the review. I will get to the audio test right after this video transition. All right, so this is pretty much just a test of the Maru Timur earbuds. This is as if um, you had maybe your iPhone or iPod touch in your pocket, and I don't know, maybe you got a phone call or something and you just answered. So basically, I'm not holding the um, inline microphone any closer to my mouth. This is just as if it were dangling right next uh, to your mouth where the mic is located. Now I'm holding this about, I don't know, six, six inches away from my mouth directly in front of it. So I am kind of giving this the best shot in terms of the audio quality and clarity. So you guys can kind of tell that it doesn't really sound the best, of course, compared to my Blue Snowball. It is a kind of an unfair comparison. But just try to take this from an objective standpoint, and this is what the mic quality sounds like. I did talk to a friend over the internet uh, via Viber, and the call quality was okay. But again, it wasn't the best. So just take this however you want to, and I will return to the review after this video break. So you guys can pretty much tell what my general view of these headphones are. They aren't, they're not very good. They, um, they're pretty overpriced for what they offer. They are not much better than Apple earbuds, if better at all. And they're not, they're, I don't think they're worth the $35 that uh, Maru sells them for. So you can definitely get a lot better pair of headphones for a similar, if not lower price. And I have had some of those DB Logic EP100s, the Skunk Juice earbuds, like I mentioned before. You can get those for uh, reasonably similar prices, if not a little bit lower. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot recommend these. They are pretty bad. Uh, I hate saying that things are bad because I know the company does work hard to put these out and people do buy them and I'm supposed to be trying to help promote their product, but unfortunately I can't do that because that would be dishonest on my part. Uh, I do keep my values pretty close, so I can't lie and say that these are good headphones because they're not. Uh, so overall, the rating out of 10 would be a 5.427 is what I'm giving it. and. I say that because I think of 10 as absolutely awesome. It went far and beyond what I expected from the headphones, which is why the Skunk Juice earbuds were very, very high. I don't remember why I rated them, but I know that they're up in the nines at least. But these headphones simply do not deliver. Five, a five for me is average range. Five, five is pretty average, so it's a little bit above average than what I expected. So you can take that however you want to, but that is not really something I would recommend to a friend if they're asking for good headphones. Uh, so overall, again, the bass is overbearing and muddy. The mids were kind of bad, but the trebles were a little bit okay, uh, depending on what song you're listening to. The EQ on this, I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, it might be a little bit bass heavy, but I can't really tell much beyond that. Um, so yeah, that pretty much wraps up my review for the Maru to Maru earbuds. Again, I want to thank Bo Roster out there for saying it's out to me for a review, and I'm sorry that I had to give this such a poor review because I, I just simply do not like these headphones. Um, take it with a grain of salt, whatever, but I would not recommend these, so do not buy them. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next video.